What's going on folks? Welcome back to Kaijuke Box. I am feeling very under the weather right now. I woke up with the dreaded scratchy throat and it's only gotten worse. Somebody at work gave me this sickness, but I had to talk about game of the year right now, which is Black Myth Wukong. Came out on the 20th. Well, really it came out on the 19th here at 10 o'clock and I played it as soon as it unlocked on Steam. And I have to say, this game is absolutely incredible. There are very few games that give me this sense of wonder and awe. And Black Myth Wukong is one of them. I'm going to refer to it as Wukong from here because it's, the name's a little bit of a mouthful to say on repeat. I really love scenery in games. I like immersive atmosphere in games. Mainly from the natural side of things, and of course there are some very weird, freaky, unworldly things in this game because it's based off the mythology of Journey to the West, which I am have have a have a heart for it. Honestly, it's it's something I've a story that I've followed for many years now. I still have never read uh, Sun Wukong or Journey to the West, Monkey King. I've never read it. But there's a bridge version that I'm actually looking at reading since playing the game. But in, anyways, I digress. I really love natural immersion in games. And this game is giving me this sort of giddy feeling in my chest. A sense of wonder that I have not felt probably since Monster Hunter World came out. And I, I'm a huge fan of Monster Hunter Rise. That game sort of had it as well. But... I started feeling it for the first time in the first area where you go down uh, this little walkway right after one of your shrines and you find this frog creature, an optional boss that you can fight. And there's all of these little uh, plants growing out of the water, kind of like cattails, I guess. And I'm just, I just walked through it really slowly after killing that frog and just was like, wow, this, this is a beautiful game. And... I have a 3060 Ti in my computer, only 8 gigs of VRAM, so it's uh, it's it's been, I don't know, it's been a little tough on my computer. I'd, I'd like to upgrade long term, uh, but I got this computer when I didn't know anything about how to build computers, I didn't know anything about specs, and so I know 3060s are kind of crapped on, but my card's doing a good job pushing it. I mean, I, I think it would run better than my Xbox back there, honestly, with the rest of my specs and my 32 gigabytes of RAM, but... Point being, the game, even though I've got it on high settings, I'm getting 90 frames a second. I don't have many hiccups. It has, it has a few here and there. Getting 90 frames, it looks really beautiful even on the high settings. And I just feel so immersed. And then there's the actual moment-to-moment -moment gameplay, which I have to say, the combat has me so enthralled. I, I absolutely... Love the bow staff. The bow staff is incredible. I, I like Insect Glaive and Monster Hunter, but really, there aren't many bow staff type weapons in games. You got your swords, you got your spears, but honestly, I like that this game has only got one option as far as combat goes. Of course, you can upgrade your, your playstyle a little bit, but it's, it's like Sekiro to me. When I go into like a Dark Souls or an Elden Ring, and there's all these options for how to build your character. I get really overwhelmed. And I don't mind the hard nature of Souls games. But that's kind of been the biggest turnoff for me. Is just the complexity of it. Now I know I play other game, other JRPGs and Monster Hunter. So complexity shouldn't be a question. But those are games I learned when I was like in middle school. And so I was more impressionable. And I had more patience for it. But now I'm, I'm an adult. I have a full-time job. I don't have time to study these video games. And so something like Wukong is so appealing to me because it's like, okay, here's the way that you can upgrade the play style that we have created for you. And you can get tons of extra things by going off the beaten path. But for the large part, this is a very linear sec uh, segmented game. Now, I've heard that it opens up a lot more. I will say I'm only in Chapter 2. I've played six and a half hours. It seems like each chapter is around five hours, if I um, understand correctly. On how long to beat, people are saying it takes 15 hours to beat. I don't think that that's true. Unless you're beating every boss on the first try, which they may be. I suck at video games. But this game doesn't seem to be quite as hard as, like, even Elden Ring. 
And and some of the reviews, I they were saying that it was very brutal. And I, so far, none none of the bosses have really kicked my butt too much, other than like the mermaid guy, who isn't even that hard. It didn't take me that long. I actually almost defeated him on my first try. I had him like so close. And then it took me, I don't know, maybe 10 tries after that. Just because, again, I'm terrible at video games. And so having like sort of a Souls light level game, it's still got some some more difficult combat. And I'm sure that it gets much more difficult as it goes on. I hope at least. The first few bosses I've fought in the second area have been extremely easy. So I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit concerned. But um, who knows? I mean, I don't, I don't mind if the game is pretty straightforward, to be honest. Just the super brutal difficult bosses, I'm okay with those being more optional. But I'm trying to beat every boss in this game. I did actually uh, sort of ruin it. I was not able to beat the big head dude in the first area at first because he's kind of like the first wall boss. And that's why they give you the ability to go past him so you can come back and fight him later. If you ring all three of the bells in the first area... And you go to the temple and like initiate the cutscene. He's he just disappears after that. That's that's the order of events that I did. I don't know if that's really the real way to get him to disappear, but uh, or if I did something else to trigger it. But I'm very sure that because he sort of a different version of him spawns in the other area, which I have not killed yet. I got him super low, and then he just flew up in the sky and started sucking in zombies, and all his health came back. So I, I I'll, I'll attempt that one later, but. I've been able, other than that, I've been able to defeat every single boss so far. And oh man, I love the environment so much. I'm super excited to see what the snow area looks like that I've seen in trailers. But even just getting into the desert for the second chapter, it's a lot more open. And just sort of going around and seeing all of the, like just the canyons and everything is just gorgeous. I love it so much. And I like that it's abnormal as far as we're not playing as a generic human or playing as this monkey character who I'm. Based off the lore, I've not gotten any spoilers. I'm pretty sure this is Wukong. There is some debate as to whether or not it is. I feel like it's maybe like a reincarnation of him. That's my guess. I'm not entirely sure. We will see. But, yeah, the game has its hooks in me. I, I've been playing other things in between as like a palate cleanser. Because like I have this thing where like if I can't beat a boss, I don't want to go to bed. So like I'll beat a boss and then I'll be like, okay, I'm a little bit afraid to go back into the game for a little bit i'm gonna play something that i know before i jump back into it <laughs> one other thing i'll note about that is that they have these little um moments where you're able to meditate and it gives you like one of the skill points in the game when you do that and sometimes they'll put them after like a big boss so you can just sit there and it will just show you like scenery around the area for just a second and it's like a little refresher, like things and things like that in games, I feel like are pretty rare. But it's like, hey, you did a good job. You beat the mermaid boss. Now go sit on this cliff, and we're gonna show you the whole map for a second, so you can just have a second to get your heart rate back down. My heart rate was going crazy on that one when I finally beat him. It's hilarious. My wife was sitting right here, and I was like, feel, feel my heart rate, and she was like, your, your heart's beating faster than when you proposed to me. <laughs> so. <laughs> Uh, I, like I said, I'm bad at video games, so it's, um, it's fun to have a game that's pretty difficult, but not too difficult, and I feel like I can actually learn the enemy's moves. A lot of time with Elden Ring bosses, Elden Ring and Dark Souls, less so Dark Souls, like, three, one and three, but in Elden Ring, I feel like a lot of the bosses, I end up just dodging and dodging into them, like, it's sort of, like, a lot of them feel the same. Of course, they have different moves and different ailments and that kind of thing but a lot of times you're just doing the same dodging thing and that's why i like sekiro because i feel like the bosses are a lot more varied and that's how i feel about this game so far is no two bosses have felt the same and a lot of the moment to moment combat it's all about getting your perfect dodges which i love i love sekiro but i'm so bad at the timing with parrying but the window for these perfect dodges is a lot bigger and i feel like Getting that perfect dodge, being on the back, and then just being able to like do one of the the charge stance moves on it. Like, oh, the combat just hits so hard. And then like whenever you charge your 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 stance, and then you swing, and he's just barely out of reach. Like you feel it in your heart. Like it it, it tears your heart out. You're like, ah, oh, 
I just wasted so much of that of that window. Uh, I could have gotten so many good regular light hits in. It's just, it's got me vocal, and not many games got me vocal. Like I'm, I'm here like saying yes and no whenever bad or good things happen. Like I, it's just, I'm having a good time, and it's been a while since I've really, really had a good time with a video game. I don't know why. It seems like just. The more complicated games have gotten over the years and the, the, the more busy I've gotten with life, it's like, man, I just want to go play Tetris. But a game like this has its complexity, but it's also got its linearity. Is that a word? I just really prefer linear games at this point. Open world games where you just kind of go to the pen and all that is great. And I love that the UI, will when you're just running around, disappears. Literally nothing. No, nothing but the screen. I took a screenshot from the game Put it as my wallpaper, it looks gorgeous. How often can you take a screenshot from a game and it at like in engine and it actually like look decent? And, and like I said, I have a 4060. Looks beautiful in 2K. I'm playing the I'm playing the game on my ultra wide monitor. 2K. Oh, oh, this game is so good. Man, uh definitely my game of the year. I, I had a lot of fun with, with Dragon's Dogma 2, but it I was hoping that Dragon's Dogma 2 would hit in the same way that this game's hitting. But this game really, really is speaking to me. I, uh, I'll i record a video on a lot of this new Monster Hunter footage that we've seen soon. I'm, I'm sorry, I've been super busy. Um, I, have, I said this in the Discord server, but for those who are not in our Discord server, which you should join, my wife had a bunch of ER visits and then eventually surgery uh, to, to resolve the issue that she was going through. And so the last month I've just... We've been in and out of the hospital, been busy at work. It's it's just been it's been difficult for me to record. But I had to get a video out even though I'm sick. Man, I feel terrible right now. I need to go drink some tea. So I'm going to let you guys go for now. But play this game. If you're an Xbox player, just wait for it. It's going to be worth your time. Don't wait for a sale. Get the game now. It's worth it. The, the studio has proven itself. I, I, I was a little skeptical. I really was. The game looks great, but I was skeptical since it's sort of a, this is their first game science. The studio's first, you know, foray into the triple world, triple A world of video games. I was, I was worried for them, but they, they have pulled it off. And if the rest of the game is as good as the first two chapters that I've played so far, I think I'm in for a really good time. And I think this is going to be my game of the year. Um, it's going to be all guys signing off.